Okay, here are a few tips and tricks for how to be successful at the Gravity in Orbits FET. So once you see the screen, click here, it will load, and you'll see two options. Click Model to scale what we will not be using. Now, anytime you are given a simulation, I always recommend click on every single square. All of those squares will be useful and provide you with information. Now, for the first part, you do not need to change the star's mass or planet. You just need to move the Earth, which you can do by just clicking and dragging. Maybe slightly more difficult with the touchscreen, but it will still work. Once you have moved the Earth, you can start the simulation. I do recommend running on fast forward just to save time. It will not change anything about the planet's orbit or the star. Now, that's part one. If you do mess up and say, oh, I wanted to move the planet down here, the problem is you have to reset everything. You can't just change a planet's orbit mid orbit or everything will be off. So to reset the animation back to the original, click the little refresh button down there. Unfortunately, you do have to check every box back on. Now, for part two, you will actually be changing the star or the planet mass, so pay attention to that. You can also still move around the planet, so even if you change the star mass to 1.5, it will still let you move the Earth. Now, for the third part, there is other choices up here. There's this choice, there's this choice, this choice here, this choice here. For the third part, you'll be using this choice right here. As you can see, all four still checked zoomed out, also recommended, and you can also change the planet and the moon's mass. That's it for Gravity and Orbits. 